All right, guys, what's up? So today I'm going to, oh yeah, I'm sporting my boy Richie Plemons hat. So today I'm gonna mow my lawn because hurricane's coming and I gotta get this thing mowed. And the thing with this whole hurricane coming is it's pretty annoying because they have no idea where it's going, man. It's, okay, so forgive me, babe. It's like trying to get them to, to figure out where Dorian is going. Um, it's like trying to ask Leah where she wants to go for dinner. Anyways, guys, so I'm going to pop some more blades on here. We got roughly uh, about 88, out, 88, 89 hours off the last set of laser, um, laser edge blades. So here's a new, new pair right here. So we got another new pair we're going to put on. These have turned into my favorite blades ever because I don't have to, um, I don't have to do crap to them. Just take them off when they're done. Here's the old pair. Um, so you can see they're, they're worn out. Um, you know, they're kind of cut in. Um, they still have a tiny bit of a bite on them, but not enough to mow lawns anymore. I think they're done. Um, the backside held up pretty good, but 88 hours on these things. And I kind of gotten, Got a little argument. Well, I watched a bunch of guys get some arguments last time, man, about, oh my God, I get 200 hours. Bros, this is the South. It's, we we can't get 200 hours on blades down here, ever. It's too sandy, too much crap going on with our stuff down here. Our soils down here do not allow for two or 300 hours on blades. So if you get 100 hours on blades, you're very lucky and you're just cutting grass over and over again that doesn't need to be cut. <laughs> I'm just saying like, we don't get hours like that, bros. I wish we did, man. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna throw some of these on the gravely and uh, we're gonna get busy, y'all. And go way under here. Come here, Cone. Come here, Cone. Let me clean this out. All right. All right, it's the only thing. Take our about two or three turns. That's it. All right, so when I'm doing yards, um, when I'm by myself, um, you know, I used to just do a bunch of yards just by myself. So um, when I was solo, I always like edging the property first, then I like mowing it, um, then I like weeding it, weed eating it. Now, if I have a lot of hedges to trim, I'll mow it first. That way, if I trim any hedges, it doesn't fall on the edge line and I, you know, the, hedge li the edge line isn't lost. So I'll edge it first, I'll trim all the hedges out, I'll blow them out, and then I'll mow and then I'll weed eat. Um, and they'll blow everything up. So that's the process I like doing it. So we're gonna jump on and mow everything right now.
All right, so I haven't cut this yard in like, actually I haven't cut this yard since I did the X mark with the Kohler engine. I haven't done this yard since then, so it's really thick. I'll show you guys how thick it is. Let's see, you get a sense of it? Yeah, it's above my wrist, so it's, uh, let me move this camera where you can get some good looks, see? So it's about right here. So we're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, it's up, it's up to eight inches. Like um, this stuff is just really thick. And I did, um, I had all the nut sage sprayed um, last week, so it'll all be dying out, but this is really thick guys. Um, and the camera just doesn't do it justice. Now, normally it's not a big deal whenever you have St. Augustine grass, um, you know, you maybe skip a week, it's really thick, but when you skip two into three weeks and you have a mulch kit on the mower, that's where things become uh, a little, a little, a little more difficult, man. When you have that mulch kit and you can't shoot it out the side, um, everything's grounding up inside of there. And this is with brand new blades on it. Everything's grinding up inside of it. And it's just not uh, giving it enough air. It's not giving it enough, uh, you know, just room to cut the grass and pitch it out. So that's one downfall to having a mulch kit. Um, we probably have to double cut some of this anyways to make it really fine, but not as much with thick St. Augustine grass having a mulch kit. But I would rather double cut something I hadn't uh, been able to cut and I missed um, than to not have a mulch kit. Because I did that once, guys, and uh, 13 years ago, a piece flew out of here, hit a girl probably from here to the woods uh, while she was walking her dog and uh, hit her in the eye um, or the side of the eye with a big piece of mulch. And uh, ever since then, I've never not run a mulch kit. So we have mulch kits on all the mowers, uh, but we never, it's just not something that we have to deal with a lot, um, just every once in a while. All right, let's get going.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna try out some new uh, string that Green Touch sent me. This is called the Piranha um, No Mercy Trimmer Line. It's, uh, man, it's it feels, it's crazy because it feels like, uh, I don't know, man, it feels like uh, the back of a really sh scaly, thorned lizard or something. <clears throat> I guess like piranha teeth. Uh, but I don't know, it looks pretty interesting. So um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some off of here and try this out. I won't take too much. I'll just do that for now. So we'll put that there. Um, we're gonna use the uh, we're gonna use the Shindawa T262. And let me line this up. There we go. Now a lot of guys, let's see, so it fits in here. This is uh, what weight is this? Um, this is, uh, let's see, 120. Huh, that's a 120 line. Fits through here easy. I tell you what, you don't want to rub your fingers across this, man. This will, uh, whoo. I mean, you can, ow, but it's gonna hurt. This is kind of crazy, man. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, I mean, it feels like you're going the, like, I don't know, it just feels like tiny little sharp teeth everywhere. So this is kind of creepy. I'm interested to see what this is like. A um, couple things that um, I don't really, you know, when I'm out weed eating, weed, weed eating with the guys or whatever, somebody will jump on a mower. Comfort trims, I'm always wearing these things because I'm always wearing shorts down here. Um, and then the Incredible is pretty sweet, man. So we keep this on the weed eaters. We're gonna grab some more because all the guys want one on every edge or every weed eater. Um, of course, whenever your head is down, um, the fill bottle of this is pointing upwards. Um, that's just kind of how we do that. So, let's get this going. And again, I've had a couple guys there try to do it this way. You do it from the top. Man, I'm trying to cut this down with the concrete. Hold on. Check this out. You have to see this. I'm trying to cut it down with the concrete. Well, that was a little nuts how long that took for it to uh, slap and straight up against this rough concrete to cut it down. All right, let's go see what it's like.
All right, guys, so this piranha, this is the first time unpackaging it um, and using it. Let me see if I can get a little macro, little macro shots, if you guys can um, really see that. Let me see if it'll, I mean, yeah, you can see it, man. This stuff, this stuff is nuts, guys. My God. Like, you can't take it across the top of your finger and run it like that. It'll hurt, dude. Like, it'll look like a dog, like, took their claw and, like, got you. And you can feel it when you are weed eating. Um, you can feel it like it cuts. It's a tiny bit grabby, um, but it cuts. And I went through some thick little weeded area I let grow over there. Um, and, man, it, like, it just chops right through that stuff. This is, I'm going to have to do some more, um, I'm going to have to do some more weed eating with this. Uh, but I can tell you right off the bat, this is pretty nuts, man. Um, it feels good. It feels mean. Um, I, I just, this is just the first time I've used it, so I can't tell you guys it's better or worse than anything. I can just tell you that um, it feels crazy, um, and I could feel it on the weed eater, and you saw me trying to cut it with the concrete. It wouldn't cut that easy. It is very tough. Um, and I mean, it slices through the grass like it's not, like it's nothing. Like it's... I don't know, man. This is crazy. It really slices through it. And there's some thick grass I was going through. And then over there on that bed, if you guys saw where I was burning the ground, that definitely I can feel out of any string I've ever used ever, ever, ever. Um, where these, I'm going to call these piranha teeth. These teeth right here, grab everything on the ground and rip it up. As you can see, the St. Augustine runners are very tough to like burn out sometimes. And this was just ripping it and grabbing it right up. Better than like a typical twist. Um, so this is interesting, man. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep using this, uh, but keep an eye out for this. This is pretty crazy stuff, man. guys um, as you can see that piranha string like I was just pointing out it's pretty it's different I, this is the most different string I, I've ever put on a weed eater so like I said I'll keep you guys abreast with how that string goes so far um, there's a couple of strings that I've put on that I instantly have not liked um, so I can say so far that was pretty pretty different and I liked it a lot um, it definitely made you feel like you could kind of chew through some some stuff with that string so um, gravely's been doing really good I got to get you guys a review on that machine here uh, probably in the next uh, week or so hurricane like I said man they don't know if it's coming it's going if it's it's slide to the left slide to the right they don't know today is Sunday um, they'll probably know by tomorrow night they keep pulling it off of Florida, then back to Florida, whatever, man. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. So I figured I would get my grass cut so it's not two months before it's, uh, you know, since it's been mowed. Um, but yeah, I'll get you guys a review on the Gravely Pro Stance. Uh, like I said, that's a purchased mower. It's, um, you know, a mower we're buying. Um, we do get to demo it and then we have the option to buy it. Um, so, you know, I'm buying it and um, really like the mower and I, I wanna, give you guys um, you know my thoughts on a stander versus a sit down and this is the first time um, you know I will have had a main mower as a stander you know we have a you know the skag we're used to walk behind so the skag v-ride was the first official stand on mower um, we've ever owned um, and we really like it there are some downs and some ups from it versus a walk behind you know I've had uh, 52 inch walk behind and you can lift the front ends up pretty easily on the walk behinds even on the 36 with the standards you can't really do that you just can't dip down on the back and lift the front up you know what I'm saying so um, that's all pretty much the only thing I don't like about stand-ons in general um, but I do like the mowers they're a lot more comfortable um, but anyways I'll get you guys uh, that review here soon but leave me a comment below how you guys do it when you're flying solo um, how do you attack the yards? Like I said, mine is if there are hedges to trim, it is edging, trimming hedges, blowing, 
the hedge debris out because I have mulch kits. I mulch it up unless it's too much and anything left over we bag up. But typically it mulches and disintegrates. It's good for the grass, so don't even argue with me. I had some guys, man. I had some people leave some comments sometime. You're so lame. You're so unprofessional. Oh my God, I would never do that. Like, I don't know what it's like for you, you know, and this was people, you know, in Florida too. Like, I don't know what it's like for you where you're at in the yards you mow, but you know, you can read a book or you know read something it is totally healthy as long as the material is healthy now if you're now if you're um, trimming like really bad shrubs disease shrubs and you're mulching them up that's not helping anything but typically we don't do that we're mulching up healthy clippings it is good for the grass you know what I'm saying so you can just argue with yourself about that all you want to to your little heart turns purple you know what I mean cuz uh, you ain't gonna get any argument from me I just laugh um, I mean, you know, it's real funny and somebody's always got something to say, man. Um, you can have something to say and, and, and if, and it's in a way like, Hey, so like, if you're going to leave a message, okay, like this was, I don't know, it was a while back. So say if you leave a message and you're just like, Hey, you're a total idiot for mulching up your, uh, you know, your hedge clippings. It's totally unprofessional, blah, blah, blah. Leave me an explanation of why you think it's unprofessional and why it's stupid to do. Leave me an explanation why it's dumber to do that than to spend the time raking and bagging it all up versus mulching it up to where you don't see it and you're throwing nutrients back into the grass. So leave me, a, I'm curious, I'm, listen, I can learn something, man. I can learn. I wanna learn something. So leave me a message, a comment below, and, and if you think that mulching up, uh, you know, hedge clippings is stupid, then uh, explain to me why, tell me why. It's one thing if you mulch it up and you leave debris everywhere. Is this too bright? I don't know. Yeah. Um, if you leave debris everywhere and all that, I mean, that's nothing to do with mulching it up or anything. That's just that's just being unprofessional, leaving a mess. We don't leave a mess. It looks beautiful. You can't tell. we. It looks like we raked it up when we're done. You know what I'm saying? That's why I have mulch kits. Maybe the guys that, that don't do that don't have mulch kits on their mowers. Maybe that's the deal. They're like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. Well, maybe it's because you don't have mulch kits. Bro, if you have mulch kits, problem solved. It doesn't get everything and what it doesn't get we pick up. I'm going on too long about that. But leave me a comment below in the order. Like I said, edging, uh, trimming hedge clippings, blowing them out to get mulched, mowing, then weed eating, then final blowdown, and then spraying for weeds and vents. So that's what we got going on. Anyways, if you guys are in Florida, Georgia, or South or North Carolina, uh, make sure that uh, you stay safe, guys, no matter what. God knows where this hurricane's going. Um, you know what I'm saying? I see the memes are funny where people just throw in like a pot of spaghetti on the map and saying, you know, Dorian's track. That's pretty much what it is. It keeps bouncing around. I know right now it's a five, 180 mile an hour winds. God help the people in the Bahamas, man. God help those people. Um, but otherwise, you know, let's just not worry about what people say. Oh my God, I can't believe you freaked out. You don't have to freak out. You got a family. Take care of yourself. Be prepared. Better safe than sorry. All right, guys. Peace out.